So today we're gonna take a look at these cars I got from Atlas Model Rover Company. Metal management pink schemes here. Same road name, but different road number. Also here we have our Anderson, the Appalachian rail car, Wilmot Transport. Have eight cars here all together. Side, as soon as we get in box. There's parts here in the back on hook. There's limited words information. All that get messed there. One side it. Low support, up support here for the car. It look like the car have holes here. You can place them into. Uh, okay. What's this? Oh, and the registration card here. Take a look at the car. It's the hard clear. Soft wrapping the model here. All right, nothing's broken inside the case. Rear bed tub gondolas uh, were built in the 1980s by ACF. The Corvair bathtub gondolas operating unit coal trains to service deliver coal to power plants. Since coal traffic is down, the car has been repurposed and used in other segments. Some can be sold hauling scrap metal. And some can be seen under the CND, meaning hauling the construction debris. Preparing the model to the prototype, I have a photo of this uh, road name roll number taken back December 5th, 2010. I have it lined up as it is on the uh, photo. Now uh, come across here, we do have the appropriate ladders. This car does not come with a cut lever or end grab barns, but it should for this price point. We'll get into that later. A uh, road name roll number. Got your reflecting stripes here. Information on the car. Now this car is patched, it got three patches here, including Wells 4 with the road name, road number, a blank black patch here, and patch that information here, so it's so four of them. So it's there in the correct location. Information on the car is good, and you do have the reflecting stripe in the appropriate location for this particular car. Coming down, more reflecting tape there. And you have reflecting tape covering a logo, which is done well here. On the car and it does matches the uh, prototype information on the car and you got your new board build date information it appears to be the correct uh, font and uh, sticker and location and also here for more reflecting tape here for this road name or number information looks appears to be correct here on the car comparing this uh, car to its prototype here um, I don't have the exact road number but I do have the correct road name uh, numbers a little off but these cars is based on this um, series of cars. But anyway, the right amount of patch here on the car, information of cars, it appears to be in the correct location. You have this detail part here, which is actually here on the prototype, which is good. Uh, the ribs here on the car looks pretty good. You got this yellow stripe here, as it would be on the prototype. You have this pattern here on the car. Also here you got your blue board and a date board here in good location and just throw that information here which is good on the car the only thing you probably don't have is the AEI tag but other than that um, pretty much everything's here on the car also have another Anderson car here which I'll throw that up here oh you can get the hind end of the of this road name road number car which is uh here now I looked up this road name road number off the bag you tell the colors are different from the model to the prototype but they managed to get the patch job here correct on the car as accurate as well exactly how it is honestly see the information here on the car but the colors off then looking for photos of the prototype that we do not have a 313 we have a 312 and it appears that they took their um, drawings off the 312 here. We have the reflecting stripes here on the car. 
uh, information appears to be in the, so in the same uh, location and of course your um, your font here like it does match the prototype but looking for a 331 sorry 311 that's the car here but it doesn't have the ends uh, color here now removing the cold glue from the car take a little prying tool or this case I have a toothpick basically just slide it over here stick it in <laughs> and pull up without breaking the toothpick so it pops out like this so it's the cold load this would look like here and here's the inside of the car now we saw in the directions and information saw earlier that the, these the holes here at the top inside the cards here where those brackets uh, fit in so it's the inside of the car and then here's the bottom let's take the detail now in the bottom of the car there's where the weight at metal and while you have you take a look at the trucks that's here all metal wheels with a metal axle 